This is a pangolin here at the San Diego Zoo. An African white-bellied tree pangolin, to be exact. And check out those scales. He has scales on almost every part of his body. And they form a super tough suit of armor that is so strong that even big cats like lions can't bite through it. Now, the only part of his body not protected by scales is his soft belly. And the design and structure of these scales make it so that each individual one moves so he's able to twist and bend his body. And when danger is near, he can just roll up into a ball and become a living rock. This African white-bellied tree pangolin comes from the tropical rainforests of Africa. But there are also ground pangolins on the African savanna and pangolins in Asia, too. But wherever they live, pangolins have to watch out for predators that would love to eat them. And that tough coat of scales, that protects the pangolin from even the sharpest teeth and claws. OK, it's snack time. And we've got the mushy paste that the pangolin loves. This has all the vitamins, minerals, and nutrition that pangolins get from ants and termites in the wild. Oh, yeah. And if you get up close and look closely, you can see his long, skinny tongue, which is great for getting right down there into the ant tunnels. It's also a good time to get a close look at his claws. They have really great, long, sharp claws for digging into ant and termite nests. And these scales, they look to me like fingernails almost, you know? They're like crazy cool. They're made of the exact same stuff as our fingernails, keratin. He even has little scales on his forehead right here. So when he rolls into a ball, he just tucks in his face and his head is protected too. Now that is a really cool creature power, being able to roll up into a ball of armor. And he's done. There he goes, up in the trees again. That's where this kind of pangolin is most comfortable. And check out this tail. It's a prehensile tail, and that means it's grabby and can wrap around tree branches. Now, other pangolins don't climb at all, like the ground pangolins of Africa. Oh, this guy wants to come down to the ground too right now. Cool, let's check this out. Off to hunt for ants. <laughs> But whether they live on the ground or mainly in the trees, one thing all pangolins have in common, they're very rare and disappearing very, very quickly. It's not their natural predators that are the problem. Pangolin defense has that covered. Instead, it's that their habitat is being destroyed, and too many pangolins are being hunted for food and for medicines that aren't scientifically proven. If we want pangolins to keep surviving in the wild, people are going to have to protect them, as well as pangolin scales protect them from predators. Yeah, pangolins are so incredibly cool, we definitely need more people to know about them. Keep on creature adventuring. We'll see you on the creature trail.